Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kida, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety, so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! It was a beautiful and sunny day as Henry dashed past his mom. He whizzed through some tall trees of his forest home and yelled back to her. Hey, Mom! I'm off again to save the day! (laughs) Henry's mother was basking and relaxing in a tree, much like she did every other day of the week. Most felines like them, they spend their days relaxing high up in the trees with their tails and legs dangling off the branch. Hey, Henry, don't forget to be back for dinner. Yesterday, your sisters and I waited much too long, shouted his mom. Okay, mom, I'll be on time, he shouted and jumped high in the air and shouted his superhero chant. I'm Henry Midnight, off to save the day. (laughs) Henry the Black Panther lived deep in the forest of South America. Even though he was all black and many called him the panther of his family, He was actually a jaguar. If you looked at his mother and sisters, you'd see that he stood out big time. They looked like your average jaguar with patterns of brown and black spots. But Henry was the only black cub in his entire litter and his entire forest for that matter. Henry knew he was special and spent his entire days pretending he was Henry Midnight, the superhero panther, panther, panther. As Henry ran to the small little river, about a half a mile from his home, he snapped into his overdrive mode. (laughs) That's what he called it. He was fast and ferocious, if he needed to be, but also a very skilled climber. Ever since he was super small, his mom had taught him to move quietly amongst the trees he pretended that he was sneaking up on a water buffalo one of the jaguar's most prized meals do you know how to sneak very quietly what is something that you might do to sneak very very quietly i might try to step on my tiptoes and move kind of slowly and each step carefully set it down on the ground yeah what about you I'm Henry Midnight, and I'm ferocious and fast, he whispered to himself. I'll move so swiftly, and I won't be last. Just as he was about to pounce on his imaginary water buffalo, or in reality, it was just a small dragonfly, he was startled by one of his sisters. Oh, Henry! Ah! (gasps) Henry jumped and growled. Oh, Selena! Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Selena giggled and proceeded to pester him. (laughs) Henry, why are you always pretending you're a superhero? There's so much better things to be doing with your time. Selena, you'll never understand. I'm sorry. After all, I'm, I'm the only Black Panther in these parts. You're just an average jaguar. Selena became quiet and looked a little sad. Henry, that wasn't very nice. Can't I at least join you on your adventure? 
It was then that Henry realized she was pestering him because she actually wanted to have fun with him. Have you ever picked on your brother or sister or someone else just because you actually felt left out? Yeah, it's kind of, it's not the best way to ask. Uh, it, it might be even better to just say, hey, it looks like you're having fun. Can I play with you? Asking to join the fun is always a lot better than just bothering or pestering that person. Hmm. Okay, Selena, you can join, said Henry. Just be careful. There's a lot of danger in this part of the forest. Yeah, I've done this a thousand times. Yeah, just stay with me and you'll be safe, he said as he puffed out his chest. Selena and Henry then ventured closer to the water edge and pounced around a bit at some different bugs and small critters. They were having a lot of fun. They pretended and pounced and pretended some more until they had worked their way far down the river. One thing jaguars are known for is their ability to swim and their love of water. They can hunt in the water and these little cubs loved practicing their skills. Wow, I thought that cats didn't like the water. And they are a species of cats. They're a big cat. Much bigger than kitties that you might have at your house. And I don't think our cat, Blackjack, or, or Flash the cat, I don't think they like to swim in water as much as Henry or Selena. Look at me, Henry Midnight. I'm queen of the river. The siblings were imagining so much that they didn't notice the terrain was changing. And so was the weather. Until, boom, they suddenly stopped in their tracks. Whoa, what was that? Henry asked. Um, uh, was that thunder? Selina asked. Maybe it was just our imaginations, Henry said, but was cut off again with a big boom. Um, Henry, that was not in your head and, um, wait, where are we? Selina said as she looked around and around. Oh, man. Uh, Selina, this, this is outside of my super abilities. We're lost! Selina and Henry skittishly ran out of that river that they'd been splashing in and having so much fun and then hit up close underneath a big tree. The thunder rumbled again, and it started to rain. They huddled together and had no clue what to do. Henry, what are we going to do? I don't I don't like being out in the middle of the forest with storms. Like, I want to go home. I know, Selena. I'm scared, too. I'm not sure what to do, but I don't know if it's safe for us to be walking around when there's all this crashing and thunder and lightning. This has never happened to me before. Oh, no. Will they make it through this storm? Will they find their way home again, back to their mother? Pretending may be fun, but the wide open forest is no place for little cubs. I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. Wow. Black Panthers are so amazing. They're one of the strongest climbers of all felines. Hmm, question for you. Do you think the Black Panther, do they normally come out during the daytime or at nighttime? Yes, at nighttime, that is definitely when the Black Panther is out for adventures. Well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play, and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. This Fire Safety Month, join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org.